Jai Shri Mataji. Good morning, everyone. Let us collectively bow down in front of Shri Mataji, raise our kundalini and put ourselves into a bandhan. Cheers. 
Let us place both our hands on the Mother Earth. And let us bring our complete attention on both the palms of our hands. Let us try to feel the gravity of the Earth. And let us try to establish collectively our own connection with the Mother Earth. We're going to now listen to a shloka for the Muladhar Chakra and we will be meditating upon the Muladhar Chakra today. So let us bring our complete attention on our Muladhar Chakra as we listen to the shloka. Now let us place our left hand towards Shimataji and our right hand on the Mother Earth with complete attention on our left Muladhar. Let us take the Nirmal Ganesha Mantra. Oh. Tvameva Sakshat Shri Nirmal Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri by your grace, I am innocent like a small child. You are the innocence within me and you are the Nirmal Ganesha within me. Now 
Now let us place our right hand towards Shrimataji and our left hand on the Mother Earth. Now let us bring our complete attention on the right Muladhar. Here, let us take one mantra to Sri Kartikeya, who is the deity residing in the right Muladhar. Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Kartikeya Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shrimataji, please make me worthy of you. Shrimataji, please come in my attention and please destroy all the evil within me. Let us say one more time. Shrimataji, please destroy all the evil within me and please cleanse my right muladhar. Now let us bring both our hands in our lap. And let us bring our complete attention on the central Muladhar Chakra. This is the place of Sri Gauri Ganesha. So let us take one mantra to Sri Ganesh Gauri. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Ganesh Gauri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shrimataji, please make me innocent. You are Sri Ganesha within us. Mother, please strengthen our Muladhar Chakra. Shrimataji, please cleanse our Muladhar Chakra and strengthen it from within. Now that we have balanced our Muladhar Chakra and meditated upon it, today let us do another short meditation on the right Muladhar. Because generally when we clear our Muladhar, we tend to miss out on the right Muladhar. 
The right muladhar is the chakra which is the abode of Sri Kartikeya and he is the one who protects us from all the demonic forces. This is the chakra that manifests wisdom and surrendering of Sri Ganesha. The right muladhar is also important because as it is one of the 11 Ekadesh Rudras, Two are Sri Ganesha and Sri Kartikeya. And the Rudras protect us from the satanic attacks and they give us the strength to fight negativities. Therefore, the right Muladhar is equally important for clearing and strengthening our left side. And when the right Muladhar improves, the catches on the left Swadishthan chakra also reduce. So it is very important to strengthen our right muladhar. And Sri Kartikeya also keeps a supervision over the hell. And Sri Bhairavnath, while fighting against the spirit possessions in us, he touches the right muladhar. And therefore the two work in coordination and they thwart the negativities. And another important thing is that the power of Sri Kartikeya is very essential in preserving our innocence because when the Kundalini ascends from the sacrum bone to the Sahasrara, the right Muladhar plays a very important role in clearing out the blockages in the path of the Kundalini. And obviously when the right Muladhara improves, the right side also becomes better. Another important thing is that the Muladhara is also associated with our Agya Chakra. So right Muladhara cures the right Agya and it also repairs the weakened ego which is controlled by the Rudras on the forehead. So let us take some prayers and affirmations to improve and strengthen the right Muladhar. So again, let us place our right hand in our lap with our left hand towards the Mother Earth or on the Mother Earth. So again, we're placing our right hand in our lap and left hand on the Mother Earth. Shimataji, kindly purify and improve our right Muladhar Chakra. Shri you are the slayer of all the demons. Shri please make me worthy of your attention. Shri Please come into our action so that everything that we do is to please you. Shimataji, please bless us with the qualities of Sri Kartikeya. Shimataji, please bless us with complete surrenderance at your holy lotus feet. Shimataji, please give us the divine wisdom of Sri Ganesha.
let us take a mantra to Shri Kartikeya Sakshat. Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Kartikeya Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Now let us raise our attention to the heart chakra and we can place our right hand on the heart central heart and the left hand can be in our lap Chimataji, please come in our heart let me clean my heart so that you are there let me worship your feet in my heart Shimataji, please keep us in reality. Take away all the sheen of superficiality. Let me clean my heart so that you are there. Let me worship your feet in my heart. Now let us place our right hand on our forehead. And let us take an opportunity to open our Agya Chakra. So let us collectively take the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and forever. Shamataji, please remove all the ego and all the superego from within us. And please bring our attention into the present moment. Now let us bring our attention on the top of our head and let us gently massage our Sahasrara Chakra. Shimataji, please strengthen our self realization. Now 
Mother, please deepen our meditation. purify our attention so that it can be on higher things. Purify our attention so it is not stuck. Purify our attention so that it can work things out. Purify our attention so we can become your instruments of love and compassion. Let us continue to meditate for a little while and then we will listen to a short talk by Shimataji. So when the woman who is a Sajogini must develop her these special qualities because she is very intuitive, woman is very intuitive. She always reaches the right conclusion in no time. If she is a woman, but if she is half man and a little of a woman, then I don't know what sort of a thing she is. So a woman should try to be a woman. She's so powerful. She's powerful like this mother who can bear every sort of thing and she can give the best that is with her. Extremely sacrificing, extremely giving, forbearing, loving, forgiving. When men develop the woman's quality, then they become saints. So what is the achievement of a woman? She has more people around her. Human power. She has more human beings around her. And what is the capacity of men? They have all the bills of the house to be paid. They have to pay for the insurance, <laughs> the repairs of the car. Let them do the dirty jobs. <laughs> We may receive all the love letters from the children, from the husband, from everyone. They are loved. They are cared for. Take to music. Take to art. So much scope is there. Today, who is remembered? See in here. Who is remembered? A musician, Mozart. Everyone remembers Mozart. Even on a chocolate, you'll find a Mozart there. <laughs> I don't know, poor thing, did he ever eat any chocolates or not? <laughs> or they will remember, see here, uh, they have Michelangelo, or they'll have Leonardo da Vinci, or they'll have somebody like that. Nobody remembers who was the officer at that time, running with the file up and down. <laughs> today I took it up special this thing because today you are worshipping me as Kartikeya. Kartikeya was the son of Parvati Uma. who was just a mother of these two children, Ganesha and Kartikeya. And one day, the parents, Shankara and Parvati, both of them said, out of you two, the one who goes around the mother earth, 
first time will get a special prize. So Kartikeya was the manly power. Absolutely. And he said, all right, I start on his own conveyance, which was a peacock. Ganesha said to himself, now look at me, I'm a little boy. I am not like him, and my conveyance is a little mouse. How will I manage? But then he thought, my mother is higher than the whole universe. What is this Mother Earth? So this Kartikeya was out, going round the Mother Earth. Sri Ganesha went round his mother three times. And he got the prize. Because of that motherly qualities for him, she is the highest, even higher than Sadashiva. But surprisingly, that is what Sadashiva likes, that you respect your mother, the motherhood in you, the womanhood in you. Vitranarya, Pujyante, Tatranamante, Devata, the way the women are respectable and respected, there the gods reside. Women are very important. The powers of a woman are that of love, which are the powers of God. And that is to be used, that to use other argumentative, intellectualism, all nonsense. Don't waste your energy with that. About school also, I have said it very clearly. Now, if you want to hear about it, I would request, have you got that pamphlet with you? Wanted to read it. Huh? No, you don't have. That's just like men. <laughs> they themselves said they would like to read it here, you see. everything will be missing. So, may I uh, most respectfully ask you, is there any advantage at all in being a man? <laughs> Without the man, woman cannot express herself. She cannot express because she is the potential. He is the kinetic. It's absolutely relative terminology. You cannot uh, exist without a man. You cannot. Even if you supposing if you have all the fragrance in the mother earth, unless and until you have the flowers, how will you know there is fragrance in mother earth? Men are most important. Otherwise, what will they do? Their all their energy will be all rotten. So if women are the Mother Earth, you are the flowers. Advantage what? You are the people who pe everybody sees you. As soon as the train will start, all the men will get out of the train. They can't sit there. <laughs> like uh, I told my husband, what is this all the time you are running out of the house? Why can't you sit in the house for some time? You must sit. So he said, no, in our, in our side, if any man uh, sits in the house, he's called as Gargusna, means uh, who is all the time in the house, you see. And I said, what do they call to a man who always runs away from the house? Garbhagna means the run, runner away, who runs away. There should be something in between. But that's manly, it's all right. 
what we can with sahaja yoga what we can do is to form a little balance between both the things that is what sahaja yoga is that it gives a balance then you start the enjoying each other's company so much that even in the house you enjoy outside also enjoy so you can be together inside the house also outside the interests are the same because the interest becomes the same like the flowers who fall on the mother earth make the mother earth fragrant and then we can say that mother earth is fragrant as beautiful as that kartikeya represents the great we can see the captain or the leader of all the ganas of all the like a commander in chief ganesha is the king but he is the commander in chief and because german character is to be in command of everything we are going to have this puja where the men will be in command of their spirits and their manly qualities and women will be in command of their womanly qualities to be in command is different from to be a master master owns it a commander does not own it he does not own it that is also lost possession is also lost you just command it and that is the state we have to come to now from ganesha state to the state of kartikeya the other way round ganesha is nice is the king very nice is sitting down with all the powers all right in a sense is there but kartikeya is the one who commands in a sense gives you a power of that commandment he commands after the guru puja is better that we should have the power to command others and that commanding spirit comes in the men through their talking through their dynamism through their personal achievements for the women through their loving power for through their forbearance through their gracious behavior forgiveness compassion so let us develop that today that we can command it means it's not that what we have but in a position we are to command i hope you understand what is kartikeya may god bless you Let us keep our attention on the top of our head and continue to be in meditation for some time.
Let us all bow down, raise our kundalini and put ourselves into a bandhan.
Thank you everyone for joining me this morning and sharing your beautiful vibrations. Now we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning. Until then, have a beautiful and a very, very Sahaj day ahead. Jai Shri Mataji.